Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And as you can see, we are on the couch. Why are we on the couch? What's going on? We are getting taught. What's going on, man? Well, I think it's in honor of International Mother Language Day, and it's important to recognize our own culture and linguistic diversity as a nation. And of course, many of us are bi or multilingual, but it never hurts to learn more and be able to greet each other in our mother languages. Yes, we also got our special guest from the Big Breakfast Show on Good Hope FM who is here. I'm going to call him Omar Moto. <laughs> Andrique is here because you're also going to learn today. Yeah. And I want you to take this here, the learning yeah. here, and immediately go to Good Open Film and actually use it. Yes. Brilliant. Please do that. All right. It's going to be great. So we have the best teacher possible, uh, basic greetings in three African languages. We brought in the cavalry, right? We paid uh -huh. a lot of money for this woman to be here. <laughs> Senior lecturer and head of African languages. This is the first time she realized she's getting paid. And literatures <laughs> at UCT, Dr. Reta Bila Posa is here to teach. Welcome, Wam Kelekile. It is so good to see you. The Queen. Thank you. Thank you how so much. How are you much. this morning? I'm awesome. And how are you? Fantastic. Yeah. You're also looking pretty. And I can see you are ready to learn. Yes. Already, yeah. So today, I've, yeah, I think uh, a good bunch of students. Hand up already. I must say. Diakutanda. Nam Diakutanda. Of course. We are celebrating, of course, <laughs> the Tang, uh, you know, International Today. Yeah. So I'm going to take you to outside South Africa, please. Uh, for once. Let's recognize Swahili. Ooh, mm. And I'm going to teach you how to greet in Swahili. Okay. So it's very easy. That's a very easy language. Uh, and I think you, have, you are aware that it's recognized by the UN. It's now becoming at least one African language that's going to be... Internationally recognized. Of course. Mm. And so, celebrated. And celebrated. So, what we say when we say like hello, you say habari. Can you say that with me? Habari. 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 Hey, habari. habari. Yes. <laughs> and then the response is simple, straightforward. It doesn't matter whether it's in the morning, yes. evening, whatever we say. Mm. Nzuri. Nzuri. Yes. Nzuri. So, habari. Nzuri. Uh -huh. Nzuri. Habari. Nzuri. Habari. Nzuri. <laughs> Do the same with me. Habari. Habari. Nzuri. Habari. Ha, nzuri. <laughs> habari. Nzuri. Also, <laughs> habari. That, so this is not the same Habari from Sister Bettina, eh? Habari. 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 <laughs> habari. <laughs> habari. <laughs> so, 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 I was just asking. I don't know. But you know, as a student, that's a good way actually to learn. You remember it. You can actually yes. remember it. You know, singing. That for me is how I learn the best. I right. struggle to read and process that information. So things like what Carlitos did right now. Thank you. Exactly. In the meantime. Never going to forget that now. Habari. Yes. Habari. And then, you know, the response is Nzuri. Nzuri. That's how you do it. They have the morning. Habari. <laughs> Habari Sajioni, Habari Zamchana, Habari Asubuhi, but it's fine as long as you know Habari Nzuri and the slang. Ah, like you're talking about another way. Listen to you. This and is good. Yeah, you can say VP, like now, you, you, you peers, you can say VP and say so Pua. VP. 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 Pua. 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 When you respond, what like is, sharp. What does VP mean? Like sharp. VP is, how's it? Oh, hey. like sharp. We say that to our rugby players. As it? Yeah, you can say. Oh, VP, you're licking up. You see? Pua. <laughs> now we're coming back home. <laughs> this uh, is beautiful. Of course, uh, I'm a Sutu, so let's embrace it. And when we talk about, you know, the Sutu, we can, just the Sutu group, mm -hmm. it's actually three languages. You can actually learn how to greet in Sitswana, Sipedi and the South Sutu by just saying Dumelang or Dumela. Let's say Dumela. 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 Oh, I know this. I, I, I love this language. Uh -huh. so, so Dumela. Okay. <laughs> I'm asking. Sorry, I just love this language. Overachiever. You know, I'm sorry. I, I went ahead. Overachiever. You know, you know, yeah, no. It's oh. a challenge when you have a student that knows more than others. Knows the show. Now, he's probably going to give you an apple after this. He always does this to us. Oh, teacher's pet. <laughs> So <laughs> let, let's do it because there's three of you. I'm going to say Dumelang. Yes. And you say Dumela because I'm the yeah. one. Dumelang. Dumela. Dumela. Likai. Kiteng. Sorry. Told you so. I went Likai. ahead again. Then you say? Lika Kiteng. Riteng or Kiteng. Kiteng. Riteng. Kiteng. Riteng. Ri, it's plural. Ri. Ki, it's singular. singular. Ki. I am. So now. I'm greeting the three of you. Yes. Dumela. Riteng. Kite. 
Ah? Ritang. Ritang. Perfect. Ah? Melang. Ritang. No. You say Dumela bag. Dumela. 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 Hey, dum hey. Lekai. Then you say? Kiteng. Kiteng or Ritang. Oh, oh yes. it's, for, if it's Simulize all three of us? Kiteng. Okay. Yes, when you are alone, you say Kiteng. Ah, that's fine. Okay. So you say Dumela. Kiteng. Okai. Only if I say okay, it's a question. Uh, How are you? Then you say kitty. Oh, cause I, oh, okay, 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 okay. Melang, dumela, okay. Now there comes kitty. Mm. Wena, mm. wena. Wena as in okay. You. What about yes. wena okay? Uh. You know this as well. He's also a man. People are, <laughs> you know, of course, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. You can't be on radio and not be able yeah, to yeah. navigate and, through and South African languages. This is your mother tongue, right? This is my mother tongue. Mm. So I'm embracing my mother, my mother tongue. So what I'm saying is you can go to Botswana and say, Dumelang, Nikai. Ah. Then the Botswanas will think, oh, wow. We'll be very impressed. This. Go uh, among the, the, the babies as well, do yeah. the same. Among the South Sotho, you go to Lesotho, say, Dumelang. They're like... Wonderful. So you have learned three languages to create. Amazing. And three languages. Thank so you. So that's it. Now we're coming back home because remember, even the, the language policy uh, allows us also to have Isikosa as one of our uh, official languages in the Western Cape. So there is no way that you can not be able to say Molo or Moloeni. Mm. Mm -hmm. Molo. 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 Yeah, that's something we hear quite often yes, we do, uh, in this area. Yeah. Now so you're not going right to hear it quite often. You're going to click back to say Moloeni. You would say Molo. Molo, yeah. Molo. Mo you be able to say that. You should be able to say that. Unjani. Unjani. How are you? Wena. Yeah. Dipilile. <laughs> Dipilile. Don't worry, Bile. I'm saying Jenkos. I'm impressed. Actually, you made I'm my life so easy. So I'm sorry, I went ahead in the textbook. It shows <laughs> that now you are in the Western Cape <laughs> when you are able to speak yes, you are. Or, or creed in this yeah. course. So I also want to look Make it a impressive. habit. Make it a habit. You know, sometimes when you just wake up, decide, no, I'm not going to be creed in English. Mm. Whether, mm. You, whether he responds or responds, uh, it's up to them. But you come in sometimes and say, Moreni, Molo, you know. And here, and then now you're embracing, you know, the diversity even around this a workplace. And, you know, and it's even it's, it's also a way of recognizing other people, you know, greeting people in their language. Yeah. It's like, I acknowledge you. I see you. It's very important. And, and this is why we've actually asked people to send us their favorite phrase or idiom in their mother tongue. Uh, obviously, mother language is important. And actually, we got a voice note. So let's take a listen. In fact, let's mamela go. Let's yeah. find out. Hi, good morning, uh, Expresso team. My name is Melinda, and in my mother language, which is Telugu, uh, we say hello, it's Namaskaram. Thank you. Namaskara. Mm. Namaskara to Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Thank you for that incredible Beautiful. voice note. Doc, thank you so much wow. for encourage us to explore the diversity in our country, to celebrate the language, and to also promote all the culture that we have in this yes. country. And I think your colors just radiate the energy that we need. And I'm hoping that we can carry on doing this the rest of the day. So that's our challenge yeah, to everyone out there. Mzanzi, let's try and not speak our own language and try something else. Challenge yes. yourself and greet in another mother tongue if you can. And get excited for the rest of the show because we're going to keep this magic coming on. Doc, that was awesome. Thank that you. That was great. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Don't forget. Awesome student. Hi, buddy. That's, sorry, Tori. this came out. Yeah, Tori. It's, I'm, I'm loving this. Remember, stay there. We've got so much more coming up. In fact, another member of the Good Hope FM Big Breakfast team will be taking us through some entertainment news. So make sure you stay right there. It is your feel-good breakfast show. Shop.